What's going on guys, it's Exploring Filmmaker. I'm here to review the Panasonic ZS100. I had a chance to take it down, do a little testing, and I thought I'd make this little video review to help you guys kind of understand the features it has and if it's one of those things that you want to you know, add to your camera bag. I took it down to southern Utah and was in Capitol Reef, uh, Bryce Canyon, and Goblin Valley and tried to put this thing through a lot of different tests. From the 4K video that this guy shoots to the 20 megapixel cameras and test it right alongside my 5D Mark III and my Sony a7S II. And I gotta tell you, I was pretty surprised at the, the punch this little guy packs, especially for being a camera under $700. It has an LCD screen that is very high quality. It'll shoot 20 megapixel photos. It will record internally 4K uh, video at 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second, which is huge. For anyone looking to get into shooting very high quality images though, this little guy is an amazing option. Let's talk a little bit about the features. There's a couple really cool features that this camera has that I was very surprised with. Number one has to be the post focus. This camera has the technology built into it where you can take a photo and then that photo, you can change the focus um, after the fact. So say you take a picture of you and your buddies and your faces are out of focus. Well, as long as you're doing it right here on the camera, you can change that focal distance and you can actually put your face back in focus. The other main feature that they're selling on here is it has a 4K photo mode, which is pretty cool. So in the 4K photo mode, you can capture up to 30 frames per second in the 4K setting, which is 3840 by 2160 in resolution. So great resolution and you're capturing a ton of images really quick, which is great for action, sports, and just those crazy moments while you're out on vacation and things like that. The, there's a cool panorama mode. You know, we're all used to taking our cell phones out and doing that thing, which is great. And the image quality is pretty outstanding. I'll go ahead and put one of those up on the screen here so we can take a look at that. Now the panoramas, it works the same way as your phone does, except for you don't have to stick to like a little line on the screen and keep it level. You turn it into panorama mode here, and there is one negative that is very obvious when you're out shooting, and uh, I think you'll, you'll kind of agree with me on that. So here we go, let's try this out. I'll tell you what, it works amazing, and I'm not sure if you can turn that sound off. I haven't been able to find that so far. It's not a big deal, but when you're getting laughed at by the people on the tour buses, it's a little embarrassing. Now, when it comes down to it, what did I really think about this guy? Is it something that I would have in my camera bag? Absolutely. I would have this guy in my camera bag because I got some shots that I never would have gotten with my other cameras. I always have my 5D Mark III very accessible and I have my Sony A7S II for shooting 4K video. And this kind of was a nice bridge between those because I could just drop him in my pocket. He's super, super small here, just a little bit bigger than like an iPhone. So I could have it in my pocket and I, I noticed as I was going around and, and, and taking photos, I had just popped this guy out and I would get some photos and I, I was able to zoom in. I had the versatility to zoom all the way in to details on the rocks and get a lot of those photos in places that I, I necessarily wouldn't have stopped and pulled out my, my Mark III or the A7S and, and take some, some photos. So there's always the benefit of that for having a point and shoot camera. Well, if you're looking to pick up a ZS100 yourself, go over to pictureline.com. They can help hook you up with any camera gear, uh, lenses, cinematography equipment, all that kind of good stuff right online. Again, I'm James Colley, the Exploring Filmmaker. I hope this review helped you out. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing. It helps me out. It helps me produce more videos like this for you. And hopefully we'll see you next time.